Hi, my name is Muhammad Izzat Akashah bin Salahuddin and my metric number is 191688. Okay, today I will tell you about the dimensional analysis. So what is a dimensional analysis? Dimensional analysis is the analysis of the relationship between the difference of physical quantities by identifying the fundamental dimensional such as uh, length, mass and time and unit of the measure such as a uh, mile versus kilometer or pound or kilogram versus gram it is a problem solving method that use the facts that any number or express expression can be multiplied by one without changing its value it is use useful technique to design the structure of model So you just see this question is now. So uh, uh, now we want to collect the velocity for the model. This is uh, the detail that given in the question. So LC equal to 1.12 meter, area equal to 10.7 meter square. Uh, velocity for the prototype is 52 uh, meter per second. The temperature is 55 uh, Celsius and the pressure is 5 atm. So uh, we know that by using the Renault number that we get uh, is a Renault number for the model equal to Renault number for the prototype. And it will become like this. By using this equation, uh, we can eliminate the mu and the uh, density because it using the same material so uh, the equation become like this as we know uh, lm equal to 1 over 10 lp there is a 1 over 10 ratio of the uh, model so we get 10 over lp per lm and we substitute uh, in this equation Like this, so we know that velocity for the prototype is 52. Just divide by 10 uh, uh, times by 10. So uh, it's become. So the velocity for the model is 520 meter per second. Thank you. Repeating variable. Repeating variable are any set of variable which by themselves cannot form a dimensional group. The meter, velocity and height cannot be arranged by any uh, way such that the dimensional will cancel. So they form a set of repeating variable. We do repeating variable before we do the analysis question. So Buckingham Pi theorem introduced eight step for this question. So the first step is least variable of k. And the second step is express each variable in terms of m, l, t, and theta for r. The third step is find k r number of pi terms. So uh, the first uh, five step is create second term multiplying by variable in step four multiplied by one other variable. The sixth step is repeat the step number five for other variable. Step number seven is check that the second term are dimensional dimensionless so the last step is express functional relationship between the second term that's all from me thank you assalamualaikum and hello my name is Muhammad Kusharil Chari my matrix number is 194.5 so I'm going to um, explain what is dimensional analysis dimensional analysis is the analysis that analyzes the relationship between the different physical quantities by identifying their fundamental dimension. What is the fundamental dimension? It is the length, mass, and time. And the unit of measure, such as miles versus kilometer, or pound versus kilogram versus gram. It is a problem solving method that uses the fact that any number or expression can be multiplied by one without changing its value. It is a useful technique to design the structure of model.
So, because our understanding, we are going to do some exercises. So, this is the exercises. So, this is the question. We are going to take out the information. As you can see here, the information is this. Uh, the V prototype is 52 millimeter second close to the ground where the temperature is 25 degree they will 110 1 of 10 scale model on the wing test at what speed should be and we are going to find the VM so we already write the information below so the number of model equal to the number of um, prototype so the number equal to rho VL over mu and also we cut this and then we need to find the VM so we transfer all the information all the information to the left hand side rho P equal to rho M rho M and mu M equal to mu P and LP over LM so we know this uh, the, the density and also the mu is same so we can cut it off so vm equal to lp over lm times with v and all these two we know the answer already so we just transfer it back lp over lm equal to 10 and the vp is 52 meter per second so the final answer is 520 meter per second variable are any set of variable which is by themselves cannot form a dimensionless group diameter velocity and height cannot be arranged in any way such that their dimensions will cancel so they form a set of repeating variable so how we are going to use the repeating variable so we are having an x step so the first step is we need to list the variable of independent and the second one express each variable in terms of m, l, t and also the pi for r and also the third step is find k, r number of pi terms step 4 select r repeating variable that represent all basic dimensions step 5 create pi term multiplying variable in step 4 and then multiply by one another variable so the step 6 we are going to repeat the fifth step for other variables the second one the seventh step check that the pi terms are dimensionless and the last step express functional relationship between the pi terms my name is Husna Khairia Binti Abdul Hamid Khair my metric number is 192445 briefly about dimensional analysis um, actually people taking this technique uh, by testing a geometrically uh, scale model rather than the test on the prototype itself. The basic concept of this technique is, is about the principal similarities and there are three principal similarities which are uh, geometric, geometric, dynamic and kinematic similarities. Now let's proceed to the application for this dimensional analysis. So based on the question our group has chosen this uh, application which is an aircraft wing. Now, now for the information that, that has been given, um, these are the only information that we will be using the calculation which is the length of the model equal to 1.12 meter and the velocity for the prototype is given also 52 meter per second. So uh, this, this one also um, is the most important information which is the scale uh, the ratio scale for the model and prototype which is 1 over 10 the length of model is equal to 1 over 10 of the length of prototype now we will use Reynolds number formula which is equal to rho vl over mu and due to the uh, this 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 one we compare the model and the prototype that's why pm vm lm mu m equal to the prototype and now Due to the same temperature, which is 25 degrees Celsius in the wind tunnel, we record this. The density, dense, uh, I mean, sorry. We cut the, uh, the dynamic viscosity, the density, and left only this, which is velocity of the model equal to the, the VP LP of the length of motor. Now, um, this time, we got it from the scale ratio. So, 
we want the LP of the LM. So this one is LM equal to 1 over 10 LP. So to get the LP, uh, LP of the LM, this one will be 10 here, will be um, LP of the LM equal to 10, equal to 10. So now we just substitute in the LP of the LM times with the velocity of the prototype, which is given already, which is 2 meter per second. So times with 10 equal to 520 meter per second. So we got the answer already. Let me explain how to use the um, repeating variable method. So we have six steps, all of it, and the first step is to list the parameters in the problem that we uh, solved just now. So in the step, we have seven parameters. Second step, this one is step we list all the primary dimension for each parameter. You can see here, each parameter got their own primary dimensions. So. So now for the step 3 is we wanted to determine the j value. Now we assume first j is equal to 3. Now we choose 3 repeating parameters. These are from the parameters that we listed in the step 1. Now the best source is this 3 which is the velocity of the fluid, the length of the cord and as well as the density of the fluid. Let's go to the next step. Now for step 5, constructing the uh, the dependent of pi. So from the Buckingham pi theorem, the formula is k equal to n minus j. And our n is 7 and our j we assumed earlier, which is 3. So our k is 4, means our dependent pi is going to be 4 parameters, which is fl, v, a1, lc, b1, and rho c1. So now... We are forcing the pi to be dimensionless. So we put the value for each a1, b1, and c1 is negative 2, negative 2, and negative 1 respectively. If s, fl equal to rho v squared, l squared, uh, lc squared. Now for the step 6, we write the final functional relationship. The final functional relationship is um, fl over half rho v squared a. So this one is the link coefficient. 